Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, I'm really delighted to participate uh, in this conference on water finance and governance in Latin America and the Caribbean. At the OECD, we have long argued that the water challenge is, of course, an environmental issue, but also an important economic challenge, one that is uh, critical to the health and prosperity of our society. The scale of the challenge our regions, our cities, and our communities face is huge. Over 570 low-lying coastal cities will face a sea level rise of at least half a meter by 2100, posing a threat to more than 800 million people worldwide and likely to cost trillions of dollars a year in damages. Water pollution was identified as a challenge by 75% of the 48 cities that we surveyed at the OECD. The lack of clean water reduces economic growth by one third and uh, polluted marine environments directly uh, affect billions of people worldwide that rely on the ocean to provide jobs and food. Scarcity is also an issue in many places and it is estimated that a drought can potentially reduce a city's economic uh, growth by up to uh, 12%. And there is worse to come, unfortunately. We estimate by uh, 2050, with a projected world population of 9.7 billion, of which more than a half will be living in cities, demand for water is set to rise by 55%. And the simple truth is that we are not on track to achieve the Sustainable Development Goal 6 on clean water and sanitation for all. No country can take water security for granted. The OECD uh, water governance policy dialogues that we conducted in Brazil, uh, in Argentina, in Peru, show this is particularly true across Latin America and the Caribbean. In Argentina, for instance, Delta cities such as Buenos Aires must deal with flood risk, whereas in the city of Mendoza, mountainous and dry area, scarcity is the most pressing water challenge. In Brazil this year, Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo went through the worst drought in almost a century, while in Lima, Peru, the pollution of the Rimac River is increasingly serious. Just earlier this month, COP26 urged immediate action. So uh, what can we do to fix our water policies for people's well-being? 15 years of water work at the OECD have taught us that there is hope. Solutions exist, but there is a clear need to improve our water governance systems to implement them. And in particular, cities and regions need robust uh, legal frameworks, transparent and inclusive water management plans, and access to funds. Uh, for example, Lima has used legal and economic instruments to achieve integrated uh, basin management, but implementation is impeded as it is still pending approval of the uh, water resources management plan, their main planning tool. In Argentina, there are a lot of uh, great cases such as uh, the province of Mendoza, which has a kind of sophisticated framework of water regulations, but there are many provinces that have only recently begun to develop their water management institutions. So, there is still much to be done, and at the OECD, we want to work with all partners to make that happen. This is why we are helping governments at all levels to implement the uh, 2015 OECD principles on water governance through a, a checklist and an indicator system to assess progress and bridge the gaps. The OECD is therefore delighted to contribute to the ninth World Water Forum, in particular by co-leading the priority on means and tools of implementation. Ladies and gentlemen, join us in Dakar in March 2022 to develop the right water governance conditions to leave no one behind. Thank you.